Hello everyone and welcome back to Limpopo Conservation Park. Yes, it has been a while, but yeah, of course with the release of the North America Animal Pack, yeah, we didn't have much inspiration to go back to Africa, of course, but today we are doing it. We are going to add a prairie dog habitat to Limpopo Conservation Park. And why the prairie dog? Well, of course, I want to stay with the new uh, with the new animal pack, but also, it had to fit in the zoo. And I think the prairie dog is the only animal that would fit into this area with the temperature. Uh, keeping in mind the uh, the biome and stuff. I think it would fit. And it's a nice like filling up the gaps animal. And um, I think I showed it in the update video that we have a little spot left right next to the entrance. And before the rhino house. So that's where we are building a wonderful a little prairie dog habitat it's a simple habitat that we are doing um, some nice rock work of course with a backstage uh, part with some interiors and we are doing some um, yeah some props today uh, that's that's something new for me but i really wanted to have some custom benches and some uh, some lights that are going on in the zoo and uh, i think we were lacking in that some some final details so that's what we are doing today so as i said the the yeah the design of the habitat itself it's quite realistic so what you will always see is like a big pile of sand and that's where the prairie dogs are living they are allowed to dig into uh, this part and uh, yeah basically uh, just do that thing and you will always have it like the animals on uh, like eye level for the guests so they have a, a good view on them and then some rocks here and there some nice little details usually there is not much foliage inside these habitats but of course i want to make it look nice so we will uh, put some grass in there and some nice little foliage and then of course i will make it look like it's being used with some uh, some of the new twigs some nice branches that leader made for us in limpopo of course i'm gonna use all the stuff that uh, that leader uh, had created for us in Limpopo in the previous episode of course with his uh, painted dog enclosure which was uh, fantastic and also yeah, it's very like not really motivating to go back into a park after leader has uh, has been working in it because everything you will make uh, looks like crap and uh, so I just had to get used to it and we'll have to uh, yeah, get back into this park because I really want to finish this one it's really starting to come together and yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy with uh, with how it looks overall. I'm, uh, I made a little uh, food, uh, like fruit stand back. I don't know when I created this. It was actually off camera while I was just uh, messing around in the park. Um, so uh, I'm re reusing it over here to make it look a little bit more interesting than the custom logs that Lita created. It looks like the um, the bark has been, been scratched off a little bit. I really like that. Um, so we're gonna gonna use it in the park and then a beautiful custom feeder yeah so this is a little prop that we are making i saw a little image of a prairie dog um eating from these uh, these little feeders and in the game you can only use the air boreal i don't know feeders which i think is stupid so yeah i'm gonna make uh, gonna make my own of course it's not usable and as i said before if you are downloading limpopo Please make sure you uh, switch off all notifications and um, any animal welfare because you will be loaded with a lot of like stuff that animals are thirsty or animals are starving. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't keep that in mind when I'm building in Limpopo. So the building itself really simple. We will make a little renovation of it in the end. Um, and I, well, while I was building this, I had like a break of the game of like two or three weeks. So I really had to get back into it a little bit. And uh, yeah, so the final details, that's uh, that's something I had to work on in the end. Uh, but over here, we of course are going to do a interior. So this is going to be the door towards uh, yeah the indoor part for the animals. I'm starting off with these uh, East Asia uh, planks but i don't like them in the end that we will change the look of the building but yeah, as i said you will see it yeah, later on in the in the video so some little uh, little updates we are currently having a contest over on the discord and so if you're not part of the discord channel yet make sure you become a part of it and uh, enjoy it join it there's a link down in the description 
of course. So we are doing a mini zoo contest again because the last one was a was a big success. And today, or not today, I think uh, two weeks ago we announced the uh, North America edition of the mini zoo uh, contest. Of course, there are still four or five weeks left, so there's plenty of time. You can still join, and you can win some steam gift cards very exciting stuff so i hope i will see you guys in the uh, the, the discord channel so i know my schedule has been a little bit weird as well um uh, i'm gonna try to work on that right now i'm having a a holiday as some people might know we um, or i recently moved to uh, to sweden uh, for work i will be here for the next six months and um, I had to get a little bit like uh, settled but right now I have a, a little holiday and then after that I hope to get back into the schedule to at least give you one video a week of course Jurassic World Evolution 2 is gonna be launched very very soon and that will be covered on the channel there's already one video out there on the channel um, where I was allowed to play the chaos theory game mode really interesting so if you are into Jurassic World games uh, yeah, make sure to check out that video I was really uh, really happy that I was allowed to be part of that event it was really cool and um, so I was able to show you guys the, the footage uh, even before the game has launched really cool really nice so uh, make sure you check that video out so the building yeah as i said i started off with some wood and it looks yeah i don't know it looks weird so in the end we're gonna change it all I, you will see me playing around with the color of the building a little bit and then uh, we will add some nice little details so we're going back in with these plaster beams um as we did like throughout the park I really want to buy the park to be a cohesive thing, you know, not much weird stuff going on, not like a, a really weird building in between, like super modern or whatever. Um, of course, the Rhino House is really modern, and I really want these kind of enclosures to be more or less the same buildings. Not much like money and time spent on the building itself, but more on the enclosure, which is much more important. The roof looks uh, a little bit weird right now. So we will change that, of course, uh, the windows and everything will be changed. So this will be the door to the indoor area. And I'm putting down a lot of these blueprints that we uh, or that I found during my build in uh, Pine Mountain Sanctuary. Really useful. Drew um, showed me these uh, these blueprints and I'm just going to use them throughout Limpopo as well. Some really nice props. And of course, I won't be able to, to make every single little thing myself so it's really useful to have these these kind of blueprints i'm still looking forward to leader his like backstage um stuff and unfortunately we didn't get the stuff that i was hoping for with the new update like this little backstage props um like some hay pieces or some shovels or whatever so i might gonna just gonna make a little um uh, how do you call that a forum post about it i think a lot of people are asking for this and we still didn't get it so i really hope we will get it one day so maybe i would just have to start complaining and we will get it but anyway um some plaster stuff here some nice little beams some nice little details all around the building and i think this is more or less the moment that i'm like yeah i don't know i don't know these these windows look stupid the the the, the wood looks stupid it's not really limpopo style yet but first to um, to have a little bit more of like a relaxation session i'm starting to make some benches yeah limpopo doesn't have any benches yet and the benches that we have in the game i think they don't really fit i want to have like this nice light uh, color wood and not modern not too african style more limpopo style benches so that's what we are creating right now some nice little small benches together with the North America beams and then the planet zoo planks make them the nice colors and you will have the perfect bench and please placing these little brackets down there uh, not really useful in the end I will remove them but they are useful if you want to place them and make sure they are the same height everywhere uh, but as you can see I'm removing it or even sinking it down a little bit more so you won't see them 
any more as you can see perfect these uh, little sun shades they are made by a leader um, but not the 2D sunshade pack he released. No, these are special made for Limpopo, I, I think. I don't know. Um, they might even be from another build from him. I don't know. He, he, he gave them to me exclusive to be used in Limpopo. So that's why I'm using them instead of uh, his, his 2D, 2D sunshade pack. Um, which everyone is using right now. Of course, they are great and they were of course built in Limpopo uh, but yeah, I, I want to have something exclusive of course so this little lamp highly inspired by the one that we are using in Pine Mountain Sanctuary but I wanted to uh, make a Limpopo version out of it so we are using the locks and then the Australia lock on the bottom and then I'm trying to use a different lamp but it looks weird uh, this one looks weird as well it's more like an asian style i don't know it looks weird so let's do another one and that's the exact same as we are using in pine mountain sanctuary but i like it i like the look of it and we're gonna use this one throughout the park and um yeah maybe if you have like a nice little reference image of like a lamp or little props that could be used in uh, Limpopo, please let me know. You can always um, yeah, let me know down in the comments or um, send it to me over on the Discord or whatever. You can always contact me if you have some, some nice inspirational pictures. So in the next episode, I really want to do um, a little restaurant. Today I saw a reference image over on my Discord channel, which was really interesting. I think I'm going to try to like recreate it. And uh, fit it into the Limpopo area. Uh, but you will see it in the next episode. And then on the side of the uh, restaurant. There's going to be this African savanna that we already did. And I want to do another like little savanna area. With some uh, herbivores. Uh, yeah, right next to it. And then after that we're going to continue on the carnival section. But I really yeah, I have to get you know motivation for that. To start building right next to what Lita did. Um, because as I said, it will look like crap anyway. So right now we are finishing up the building. Um, I thought they made these glass pieces recolorable, but apparently not. So I was a little bit disappointed over there. But I think they did make the little glass panels recolorable, which is uh, much better. Uh, these little grills to make sure that the animals can't get in or escape. Um, yeah, what else to say? Trying to find some useful stuff from uh, from leaders. So this table, the food preparation table, gonna put it in down there. Of course, the prairie dogs eat something else than the wild dogs. So uh, we have putting down some apples, and later on I will add some melons because there is a new melon feeder that the prairie dogs are able to use. Then we gonna do some lighting, some finishing up for the for the building itself. We will do some final details. Uh, on the outside of the building and that's uh, that's already gonna be it for this episode of course in the end there's gonna be some nice cinematics for you guys to enjoy the the animals and to enjoy the build and i really hope you guys uh, like the build if you did make sure you hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do and i'm gonna speak to you guys in the next episode uh, you you